Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for October 17th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair had a very large range day, did close down, is moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 77.76, possibly as low as 76.25. Look for some resistance around 77.45 and look for some support around 76.50. Now looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair closed down, did break through the previous session's high. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 139.94, possibly as low as 135.44. Look for some resistance around 139.15 and look for some support around 136.95. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair didn't quite break the previous session's high, did close lower, uh, created an inside bar. Uh, and did fill the gap that it created of 22 pips at the open. We are looking for it to possibly go as high as 159.13, possibly as low as 156.04. Look for some resistance around 158.50, and look for some support around 57.15. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed up during this last session. It's moving sideways, did break uh, through some Pretty strong support, previous support, but did close up. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 0, 91.18, possibly as low as 0, 88.14. Look for some resistance around 0, 9,000, and look for some support around 0, 88.75. Well, now, as far as... Uh, as far as news analysis go, we have tomorrow the pound releasing their consumer price index for September at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that one is that it has moved higher from 4.5% to 4.9%. We also have the Euro-German uh, e, uh, ZEW survey, their economic sentiment for October being released at 5 a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that is that it's moved lower from a negative 43.3 to negative 45. Negative news, of course, for the euro if it does come out uh, at 45 or lower. Now we have the U.S. Uh, producers price index for September at 8.30 a.m. Eastern uh, for the U.S. And that is being released, uh, or that that's showing a previous of 6.5%. Uh, it looks like it's dropped at least the consensus on that, to 6.4%. Uh, we also have Bernanke speaking in Boston at 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, so definitely keep an eye on that. Okay, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, the pound US dollar did create an inside bar. If, we, uh, if this reversal, the fact that we didn't break this high uh, and that we gapped out up but closed lower, uh, leads me to believe we may be in a reversal area. If you notice, we have uh, in the middle of a reversal. If you notice, we have support, support, resistance, resistance. So this area right around the 157.18 mark is an area of uh, what will now be support. Uh, if we get a break through that, though, we should come on down, and I would think, uh, be able to grab some pips at very least 18 down to the 5700 mark but uh, might look to grab about 30 down to the 15688 mark is what I'm looking for. Well, I hope that helps and until next time this is Jason Filder. Good trading.